What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerdcast. So today in the world of indie games, we're checking out Inculinati. Inculinati. In... Inculinati, I don't know. Either way, it's a really, really cool game about the weird pictures that exist at the bottom of medieval texts. So have you ever noticed any of the weird stuff, like snails with chainsaws? And you know, like rabbits that are dual-wielding nunchucks that are at the bottom of ancient medieval texts? Uh, this game is sort of poking fun at that in a humorous, strategical way. So we're gonna go ahead and play the demo real fast. Uh, we can play the prologue. We've got Godfrey, who is our character. God save you, Godfrey. He's come with a couple of characters here. Uh, he's got himself what looks like a dog swordsman. Looks like he's got a dog spearman, and looks like he's got a dog a bowman. I like it. I like it. I, I think that works out pretty good for me. And then we are up against Hildegard, who apparently has a spearman and a bunny swordsman. Sounds good. Apparently there's going to be five chapters to the apocalypse. We start out with ten ink points, which are effectively... That's going to be the resources that we use in order to draw in these guys to the bottom of the page. But instead of me, like, telling you what the game is kind of like, let me, let me show you here. Welcome, O oh future champion of Inculinati. Two masters of the living ink, the Inculinati are about to start a duel on the pages of an ancient manuscript. Each of them has their own unique army skills and most of all, personal tiny Inculinati. So, the Inculinati are extraordinary beasts. They can draw other beasts by spending ink and use Inculinati hands in order to interfere with the battlefield. Tiny Inculinati cannot walk, it needs to be pushed in order to move. So in order to win a duel with the living ink, you must destroy the Inculinati of your opponent. Alright. And so we've been gifted a number of things here. We can actually just like jump straight on into the game. Like, I, I know how this all works. I am aware. Uh, so we don't have any beasties or anything that we can play around with. Uh, one of the cool features about this game is sort of the way that it narrates itself by filling in text. So it says, Welcome, O future champion of Inculinati. I have the honor of describing your first battle. And as we, like, play our characters, it'll actually, like, fill in paragraphs of the story right here of the battle between us and Hildegard, which is actually, like, really, really cool the way that it sort of does that. In the end, you can read the entire story sort of describing the war. We have 10 ink points right now that's going to allow us to play some of our characters. My suggestion would be that we maybe play, like, a, a dog swordsman first. Uh, swordsman can inflict damage but only attack two adjacent fields. Yep. I am aware. We'll put the the dog swordsman right there, and he'll get drawn in. So there we go. The dog swordsman has been drawn. I don't really care about all this tutorial nonsense. It's not really helping me a whole lot right now. All right. So I can kind of like maybe I'll maybe I'll shift myself right ever so slightly. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do so that I can play a little bit more aggressively. I guess I can smack one of my beasties for damages as well. But I'm pretty happy with the way this is all played out. Uh, he can't do anything on his turn right there, so I think we're pretty much just like done for right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and end the turn. You might be asking yourself, how do I get more resources? Well, you get more resources by ending on these little ink blots right here. If you can end on these little ink blots, uh, you'll get more resources with which to summon more critters. And so you definitely want to do that. So we'll move our dog swordsman up. Our patience has been rewarded with ink. Very nice. And did it tell a story or anything up here? Yeah, it did. Look. So, Dobermir step by step crawled about where fuzzy feelings told him to and God witnessed all of it whether he liked it or not. There you go. And so now we're getting three ink per turn just by like chillaxing right here. Um, yeah, go ahead and pray, I guess. That sounds good. Uh, prayer is going to give him some, it's going to give him some damage and some accuracy, which is going to help out when we get to combat, because combat is sort of like roulette based in this game. It's sort of hard to describe if you haven't seen it before. Um, anyways, we got plus three right there. That's good. What did it say about our storyline? Now, let's see here. 
Dobromir, who wedded a sheep once, a pretty one, let us hope, prayed alone. Tekomir jogged forward resolvedly where the challenge awaited. Uh, Tekomir bashed some chap, and he was filled with pride. Sometimes you gotta be prideful about bashing a chap, I guess. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move myself forward one more time. I don't see a reason not to do so. I'm gonna play pretty aggressively uh, this time around. Uh, we will end our turn, I guess. All right, so chapter three here. We've got our dog soldier's time to attack. He's still praying over here to whatever dog god that he really wants to pray to. I don't know. Uh, we can probably tell him to, to attack. That would probably be a really good start. And so anyways, I will confirm my target right here. And as you can see, this is going to go up and down. And we sort of want to land on the damage number that we want right there. Hopefully our opponent lands poorly on his damage value. Oh, he ran up and attacked my... Oh, no, dude. Okay, so like if our boss dies, that's really, really bad. That means we kind of like lose. Uh, so go ahead and smack this guy right here. There you go. Perfect. He's been eliminated. And now just a little ink blot is left there. I'm going to put a dog spearman right there so that we have like a front line that's ready to go. And so we can drain off that ink right there. And we can sort of like shift the tide of battle and attack our opponent without having to worry about it too much. And she's more than likely going to draw something right there, which, yeah, I'm okay with. Draw away. These spearmen don't actually do that much damage, so you don't have a whole lot to worry about right there. Now what we'd like to do... Is I would like to move all the way up to there, but I don't know what the yellow means. Oh, he just leapfrogged me. What a jerk. How dare you just walk through my lines like that like he doesn't even care. Oh, yeah, go ahead and attack. Woo! Five damage right there. Just barely. Just a barely. Uh, I would very much like for Dobermere to go over there. Let me play another dog soldier right there. There we go. That's perfect. I like it very, very much. And then we don't really have a whole lot of stuff left that we can do. And so apparently there's a fire. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a battle royale. The fire is going to move on in. So I forgot to mention that. So like the ways that you win this game is either by killing the opponent's Inculinati or by getting run over by the flames that are going to slowly close in on you. Or even further, if you've got push attacks, you can push them off. You see how that's like a little conveyor belt edge right there? If you can push them off the map, you also officially win. And so it's actually got kind of like if you've ever played Warhammer 40k, you can table people. I'm going to move over to here, and then we are going to attacketh. There we go. The attacketh has been levietheth. Oh, she can actually like smudge herself and heal herself. I didn't even know that was a mechanic that would work. Okay, uh, I want you to attack this guy right here. And if we... Oh, I missed the skull. I was going to say, if we land on a skull, we can actually kill him. But, like, it's not going to work out that way. Uh, you come... I don't want you to die to the fire, really. Uh, so you come over here, maybe, just in case she decides to, like, smote this guy. And then you right there, you should be able to finish him off, no problem. Bap! There we go. He's now dead. He no longer exists. We've given him the old-fashioned squoosh. Aw, oh, you moved me into fire? How could you? Hey. Man, she's got a bunch of actions, don't she? All right, you move over to here because we need to, like, yeah, we need to, like, shank a bitch over here. There we go. Give her the old, give her, give her the old pole shank right there. And then we pretty much kill her regardless of what we hit, so that's good. Bye. You're no longer an Inculinati. There can be only one. I am the Highlander of Drawings. Now you see that I am the greatest Inculinati master of all time. Should have seen it coming. The time of penitence is upon me. That's right. Be penitent, you. Be penitent. Fall to the earth and pray. Uh, although the demo version will lack real character progression, you will get new beast actions and battlefields after a few duels. Nice. Uh, so now we have a cat or a donkey. Hildegard can now apparently draw a bishop cat. A, a vicar of the fur, as it were. And Godfrey can now do a donkey bard. And we can duel inside of the glade. Sounds good. I'm okay with it. I, I don't have any arguments. We've added, like, new things to our overall... To our overall docket of characters. So let's try out the glade, shall we? Uh, we don't need to watch that a second time. We've seen it already. Alright, so... 
We will skip to the end right here. I, I know, we don't need to go through all this. We've, we've already played the game. All right, so he's singing, wakes the spirit of his allies. He can paralyze enemies by playing a butt trumpet. He's an intrinsic element of cunning tactics. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I, I do think that it's a really good idea that we get something on the battlefield so that we can capitalize on that ink right there. That's just a, a feeling that I get, is that it might be a good idea to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, you get moved forward by one. I don't like being next to the edge of the map. It makes me feel nervous about possible outcomes. All right, so apparently Morpheus is the, the Matrix-styled name of that cat right there. Gotcha. I don't know what the Matrix cat is going to do. I'm a little worried about it. Yeah, go ahead and pray just in case. Go ahead and give yourself an old prayer to Jesus. The enemies have so much movement distance, it hurts my soul. Uh, yeah, shift right. I guess. Actually, don't shift right. Stay where you are. Stay exactly where thou shalt be. All right? Uh, yeah, you move forward, and then I would like you to run an attack on this guy. It looks like we got a nine. There we bow. Ooh. We hit him with a heretical bow or blow. Bashed the unworthy wretch, and he was nearly ready to meet his maker. Then Morpheus, unknown amongst wider circles, shuffled about. I don't know if we should play the donkey bard. We still haven't done an archer yet either. I'm going to do an archer because I never do archers. So let's throw an archer on into the fray here. The Incan fray. As it, Wait, how come I only dealt three damage? Shouldn't I have dealt nine? I feel like I landed on a nine. Didn't I land on a nine? Hmm. Can I smack that guy? Yeah, smack him. <laughs> I like that saying. That little sound effect makes me happy. I don't know if she has enough to play a secondary creature yet, but it's almost the end times. So I, I get the feeling we're going to lose very, very soon. Death. Yeah, you better you better draw in another you better draw in another critter. That's going to be your only hope. I've already I've already annihilated. Oh, I can hit that little guy from right there. Yeah, do it. Oh, so close. I mean, two damage is two damage, but at least we got to do something on that turn. So that pleases me. Uh, I can't really do a whole lot right now. I guess I could move him forward by one, and that would mean that I would collect ink for the next turn, which is probably a good strategy, just to maintain like some kind of resource advantage. But the fire has arrived. Didn't start the fire. Can't start a fire without a spark. These guns are for hire. What's this guy going to do? He's going to shoot at my archer for zero damage. Okay. Understandable. Uh, let's see if we can... There we... Bow! Sit down. I like to shout BOW in my office whenever I land a big hit in a video game. It matters to me. Alright, we'll move you forward and... Let, let, let's start off with a little bit of pain here. Nice! Four damage out to Hildegard. She's probably gonna burn to death anyways, so I don't really think we need to worry about this too much. I should have done my donkey bard. On the plus side, we got to try out Dog Archers, so maybe like next battle we'll do the Donkey Bard and just kind of see what he does. Uh, I would suggest you move to the right. I, I think that's a really, really smart idea. I, I think we have resoundingly won this battle, and so I don't really, like, care. So she's going to heal, and then what? She's going to scooch, okay? Scooching is fine. It was not unexpected. Oh, no, dude. This lady still has more critters. I didn't expect the play right there. Did not, could not, would not expect the play. Uh, you. Maybe move forward to there. And then fire an arrow at that dude. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, one damage is not going to do it. Like, one damage is not the, uh... One damage is not the play. I suggest you come back to here, and then maybe attack right there. Eh, three damage is good. That means I can finish him off with the swordsman. All right, and then you move up to here, and then attack right there. Yes, you're a god. I believe in you. Goodbye, bunny. You... 
I'm going to suggest that we continue shifting to the right. Otherwise, I feel as though bad things are very much going to happen to us. The flames of hell do seem to be moving at a, at a considerable rate. Hey. Man, she stole my ink blots. All right, let's deal some damage. What? Yep, there's a seven hit out right there, and we should be able to finish her with an archer now. Archers! Archers on the double! Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Luckily, no matter what we do right there, it's a skull. So we have resolved the battle. We have spilled her blood, and now her ink blood, I guess. And now we are victorious. We are officially the Inkulinati Master. All right, so our progression. We got master mode. Uh, we got levels, so we've got towers, apparently. In a meadow, as well as in a vast glade. Okay, that's sort of interesting. All right, uh, let's go two towers in a meadow, the vast glade. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds rad. Uh, we've still got the, sa the same army as last time, so I got a frog in my throat right there. I don't know where it came from. It just decided I'm no longer allowed to speak. So large obstacles get in the way of archers and spearmen. Arrows and spears cannot penetrate large objects, which makes them good protection from long-distance attacks. Large obstacles offer protection from being shown the butt. They cannot, however, protect you from sound. Okay. Well, we, we shall start out... Verily, shall we start out with an archer on the tower, methinkies. I am of the opinion that it's probably going to be super important that we take this high ground. And also that we absorb as many resources as we possibly can as time goes along. If I put him right there, it means I can deploy and leapfrog and put somebody right there in between, so that's what I'm going to do. Ah, she's doing the same thing. Okay, we're both playing the same strategy. Understood. How far can they fire when they're on the towers right here? I would like for you to attack that obstacle right there. Ah, okay. Yeah, fire on that obstacle right there. Nice. Dealt some damage. I mean, I can live with that. Um, let's put in... I kind of want to go for another dog archer, but it looks like I can't place him. Okay, well, we'll put in a soldier right there. This guy's draining my ink blots, which is kind of rough. Uh, those ink blots are on my side, and they're, like, giving me an advantage, and so... Oh, I can smite him from right there? All right, well, smite him. Perfect. Smite innate. Yeah, that plus nine ink is problematic. I don't like that plus nine ink. We're gonna have to do something about this. Uh, you fire an arrow at him. Doesn't really matter what you hit there. I don't really care. Uh, and then we're gonna take both of these ink blots at the front. And we're gonna try to take over them. Uh, you move over to there and get that ink blot. All right, and then pray, I guess. Yes, do do some dog prayers. Dogs seem like they would be religious and all. Ah, oh, he saw me doing it. He knew what I was going for. He saw it coming. I'll take six damage. Six damage works. Ah, still deploying further units, are we? Okay. Uh, give me a donkey bard, I guess. Okay, we have a donkey bard. I don't know what his abilities are, but we'll take a look at them in just a second when we get to the next turn. But I believe that we are kind of officially out of things we can work on. Yeah, we're sort of losing the ink battle right now, which sort of concerns me. Ow, seven damage, chill! Ugh, one damage. It slides a little bit. 
after where you click it. Like if you ever played, you know, like that wheel that was at like um, if you went to if you went to Chuck E. Cheese, there was that light wheel, and you hit the button, and you got the amount of tickets based on where the light landed. Like you ever notice the light always moved like three forward when you hit the button? I did. I did. Yeah, you go down there and stand on top of that. I don't know if you can attack anybody right now, but I need you to be over there. And then for you right now, I need you to finish him off. Doink. Goodbye, kitty. The swordsman spam. This is marginally upsetting. All right, he's got Mark... Or he's make music. Music grants one additional move to an inactive ally. This chapter, he's got butt trumpet. It paralyzes and confuses every enemy beast within range. Okay, sounds good. Now you go right there and grab that. Uh, does anybody else have a turn remaining? Can you pray or anything? He's got a pushing attack. Okay. I have so many archers. I think I'm going to put another swordsman in. Perfect. All right. And so I can smack things. I think it's probably a good idea that we get that out of the way, too, so that I can move the archers forward. Yeah, the fires are actually officially coming in from the margins now, so that's going to be fun to deal with. This is going to turn into a bit of a Donnybrook in the center of the map. I can smell it already. I'll take two damage, man. Like, two damage is better than I expected right there. Like, I'll take it. Like, you can't always expect, like, perfection out of all this stuff. Uh, I would like for you to shoot that right there. Perfect. Well, that's not good. Uh, who do I have left? I have you. That really, like, messed up my turn. Five damage is really, really nice, though. And that kind of messed up his turn. So I think I can move my dog forward now and take that ink blot back. Which I think is going to be, like, super, super important. Oh, dude, too soon. One damage. I think the AI is doing a much better job playing roulette than I am. Let's go ahead and... I'll put an archer right there. Then I'm going to move him forward, I think. This guy will stay up top and keep shooting. Is that going to swap places between the two of us? I don't know. She doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. Like, she's going to get blocked by that barrier right there, and she's going to start burning. And so I think if we can just hold the line, we'll be okay. Oh, wow. She moved way far forward. Uh, yeah. I don't know why the AI did that, but that was a really dumb move, so... If you think I'm not going to capitalize on that and end you, you are absolutely wrong, my friend. You are not even, like, kind of wrong. You're, like, super wrong. Yeah, I don't know why the AI made that move. That was a... That was a hell of a move right there. That was a decision. I smashed you like a bibby. <laughs> oh my god. So anyways, this is in Kulinati. I hope you guys really, really liked it. We can apparently draw a mighty dog now. Which is this guy right here. A powerful version of the dog swordsman. Interesting. So yeah, this is the Kickstarter demo for this game. You can check out the Kickstarter down below. It's already funded, but they do have like further backer goals like naval combat and stuff like that that they're working on at the moment. Check the game out. I'll have a link for you down below. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today was in Culinati. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Check out the Discord down below and also check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Splattercat Gaming. See you later, everybody. Take it easy.